Hi guys, Hakes here, captain of Alliance. We're here at the ALDS Championship, uh, biggest tournament of the year, and I'm super excited. We got Mandy as a sub, and we got Effect if he gets his visa. Um, we're super confident playing with both of them. They both fit our playstyle, even though they're different types of players. Like with Mandy, we're more of a unit. We focus more on communication, and we just overall meet ball and run everyone over. With Effect. He's a whole team by himself, he just brings out much power, firepower, so we can afford to do a little bit more fights and just be a little bit more aggressive. So, But we're super confident playing with both, it's going to be a great time. plan going into the championship is uh, just the same as previous tournaments. I think the medal right now is in favor of more, uh, considering they have nerfed beacons and just buffed edge a little bit, slightly. So. We've done a lot of changes, you know, it's a whole different meta as well, so I think this meta favors us more and we also got a new coach. We got off, so we just got to feel good. We're feeling confident. This one, can I have a try on the screen? I just want to see what's up. This one? Yeah. This sensor is pretty fast. Wait, this is not even a, this is a PS4 controller. <laughs> ah, it's aimbot, you see? I fucking knew it. <laughs> Hit a 200 spray right now, on that guy. Wait, okay, okay, hold on. Wait, lock him. Oh, I mean, that was just effortless. <laughs> Cheetah. Wait, your sense is sick. Yeah. Wait, I like this controller, bro. Hey, feels smooth. Oh! God damn, I'm going to find the one! <laughs> you see that? that used to the preemptive Q as well on the, on the nah, bottom? Nah, you knew. So you can win, you changing the controller. Why do you not like the one? Cheat controller, bro. Today. Yeah. I have one day to learn it. Oh! Okay. It's fine. You're gonna uh, yeah, still get the controller. You're right? easy, easy. You said about your keyboard settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Show me how you did it. So basically this is my mouse and keyboard settings. Uh, my mouse sensitivity is 0 0.9 with Yikes. 1600 dpi. Yikes. <laughs> and then I have 0 0.8 ADS for all the scopes up to 1 and 4. And then I have 0 0.7 on the sniper sights which is 6, uh, 6x, 8x and 10x. Um, and then my key bind. Uh, most important thing is on my MNK player is to bind and move Thank forward you. on your scroll width so that you're able to tap yeah. straight. And then you also have jump on your scroll wheel. That, man makes you, that allows you to do a lot of movement stuff. This allows you to do a lot of movement stuff. And then something that I do personally as well is that I have all my key bounds, uh, all my heels key bound on individ individual key binds. So my syringe is 4, medkit 5, cell is T, battery on mouse 5, and the Felix kit on 6. So that you can have that extra 0 0.3 seconds more efficient healing so you don't die. And that's about it. Everything else is pretty default. Yeah, that's how you can outplay a uh, uh, controller. True. Gotta get all the advantages over roller. How are you doing? Hello! We're setting up the team booth. Come look at our stuff. Come see how much we're gonna. Too much stuff. So we have to do all of that today. Today is Tuesday. Uh, we're gonna start the event tomorrow. Here is our uh, team boo. So make sure to come back and check out how it looks later after we're set up. Is it big Akis? What do you think? Same, no? Oh, it's, it is definitely a steep at the back. Yeah. And then they have everything set up down here too. Yeah. They can probably have more space down here too. Is Arena different than uh, Split 1, Split 2? Like a... Uh, it's about the same. It looks a little bit more... What do you call it? High quality, but about the same. The place you prefer to play from the uh, first, second floor? Um, usually prefer playing from the bottom floor, but it depends on how good the top floor is because in previous lands it's been kind of shaky and playing on a shaky monitor is no, 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 no fun at all. But last land has been really good, so I don't mind anything. Uh, 
As long as nothing shakes or is annoying, then I can play anyway. We have here our prep. You see the screens getting ready. 10 teams up top, 10 teams on the bottom, same as last time. Hopefully, we're at the bottom. We don't want to be top. Top is too shaky, yeah. Bottom is um, more quiet. You don't see as many people. It's kind of like your own little bedroom. Looks like they're fixing the lights right now. Legend select. Yeah. Stay tuned, we're almost there. Getting ready. Today is the first day of LGS. The group stages are starting today. We're sitting here right now, warming up, preparing for the first group starting in about two hours. So coming into this first day of LGS, we're being really confident. Our scrims, when we started with Mandy, uh, started out a bit rough, but throughout the week we have been scrimming with him. It's becoming better and better and better. If you look at the results and the communication, him gr growing into the team, Hakis is like an all-time high. Uh, Yuki as well, like everyone is getting on points. Ready. They see they're not coming in, they know that they can clear the building. The question is, can they find the bodies? Can they get the kills? All of a sudden, shots coming in from elsewhere. And Alliance might made a little bit of a mess of this, but no, they hold strong. Alliance will take NRG down. They're all fighting, all fighting, keep it up, keep it up. Line up, line up, line up. Come on. It's Alliance versus FaZe, but it's just one last player remaining. It's a two versus one. I was sweating <laughs> because everyone was so low healing. I was like, when Yuki jumps through the wall, I'm like, oh, he's having amazing. his back yeah. towards him. <laughs> like, come on. I was good though. Yeah, we, we needed that. We needed that. That was good. Ooh. I don't have this. Hard rally. No. Visa. Flyg no. Han är på flyget. Han är på flyget. Fucking go. It ducks. Did you come today? I know. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go home today. I watched Dark Zero just in. You got Visa or what? Mm. Yeah. Sound effect. Nice. Sound effect. You heard? I don't know. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Mandy. Um, short trip for me, but we're so happy that Effect got his Visa. And uh, yeah, we're just excited to see him play. I had a lot of fun playing with the boys, Yuki and Hakis. And uh, I think we did a uh, decent um, in the today. So. Uh, I'm very excited to see the boys play the rest and uh, yeah, thank you guys for cheering us on and I can't wait to see you guys at home. He's finally here in Birmingham, ready to attend in LAN. So, how it was the visa story? Yeah, I got a visa at 4 p.m. and then I rushed back to home um, on, ta on taxi. And then 
what, as soon as I got home, I uh, literally rushed to my bedroom, grabbed everything I could, and then rushed to the whole, uh, to the airport. And at the airport, when I checked in, there was a long, long queue to 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 the passport control, and then I had like 20 minutes before flight, so I had to go through them. I went under those like fences, like labyrinths, like um, the rope ones, and um, the same uh, for drug check. And then after, I just ran to the gate, and I was like. 10 minutes earlier than I needed to. Fix here, guys. <laughs> Congrats get your visa, bro. Thank God you got it. Congrats. Holy Congrats. <laughs> Yo, man. You ready to roll? Yep. Let's go. So happy you made it, bro. You're gonna kill it, man. What's up, bro? Happy you made it. What's up, yeah. Effect? Congrats for making it, bro. Oh, my God. I just carry the Yeah, happy to be here. Finally, finally can play. At home, it's too boring. Has been able to join us. Some them have regained that synergy despite the challenges that they've had during each on their own terms. Outside, up against, I believe, Element Six. It is Element Six, and we know Tyler's a oh crazy dragger, but this effect for showing it. Yuki, anytime you get a PK in his hands, he can go off, able to grab a knock on to Tyler, but does get traded out. So we ask yourself, is Effect going to be able to clutch up this oh. moment? No, the third party from North Epson coming in. They want to be the third party from North Epson coming in. They want to be the first match where they won. You can see the dojo rotating around. Hackett is still up for Alliance, as well as Yuki and Effect trying their best. Grab lift to the oh sky. My God. Black hole in between threading the needle of the two dark veils. Does get poked in front of but everything is connecting. You see the damage going out, and it's a fight in the air. Everybody trying to get airborne, but the gravity lift finally expires. In fact, goes down. Yuki's going to follow, and Alliance on the ropes have Dojo pushing up on them. This is going to be the end of Alliance. Dojo could take them out. Start a fight, fall, and hack is left to <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, I'm outside. I'm outside the smoking area. Hi. Yeah, we can make it easy. We're finally warmed up. We're finally warmed up? Yeah. Alright, did I get a kill that game? I don't think so, right? <laughs> you still did you? Or did you just knock one? Hello, guys. Uh, we're about to start the last block of the group stage. Uh, right now we are down to 66 points and need to catch up to around 100 points for the last block. Uh, with Effect being here now, it's gonna help us a lot. Uh, he's growing into it way, like really, really fast. Uh, the first two games were pretty rough uh, when he was warming up in the first block when he played, but it's feeling better and better right now. Good luck. Thank you. Time, but looking elsewhere, yes, indeed, we are going to have the contest going down. It's Alliance versus the Dojo, and Hackis and Effects both down to barely any HP. Barely any, it's 
Tor, as now Hackers is going to go down, it's going to be Yuki in effect. Then they're not even going to be able to get one of those by the looks of things. Yuki going to fall as well. One more player to go to delete Alliance from what has been their home for so, so long. And Design Force hungry. Alliance eliminated and the dojo stand up and let them know. It is best as I can when teams reach them, but we're back at Thermal Station. It's Alliance versus Dojo round two. Yuki take a little bit of damage off the rip as well. And he's going to fall once more. This fight is more important for Alliance, who are outside of those top 20 spots. They need points. They need to be surviving this contest. Well, it's not looking good, because Effect is down as well. And Hakis, well, they know where he is. The shield crack comes in, and Timmy says, boys, he's over there. Go chase him down. Now, I will say, I don't think it would be the end of the world if Alliance were to be in that elimination bracket tomorrow. All eyes on Thermal Station. All eyes on the dojo. All eyes on Alliance. Uh, I'm getting yeah. I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting right. Where are you guys? Haras has no gun. Haras has no gun. Come inside. Yeah, left side, left side. Kill left side again. What's that here on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left side, left side. Turn around. Let's break my door down. Where are you, FF? You good? I'm outside, yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. On the, on, the on the bin, on the bin, on the bin, on the bin. One high gun, high gun, high gun. One is still high. Can we kill I'm the guy in the bin? Can we kill the guy in the bin? He doesn't come in. Dead, dead, dead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going on him. Kill him. 41 flash, 1 HP. Alliance fans in the crowd as well. They are on their feet because their team did enough as well to get through to that winner's bracket. What a story though. Easy. Easy. Yuki. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but in is in. Top 20 is top 20, baby. Doesn't matter if you're first or 20. You see the first two contests? You didn't get a gun for like 20 seconds. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Even, not even the last one, motherfucker. Went to a bin. No gun. Yeah. With the next bin, oh, two art throws them. Yeah. Goes up to Q, go for the next bin. Oh, there's a guy here. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't push me. I didn't pick up there any first time. Bro, I need a new control. I need a bottle of beer. Alliance booth, alright? So we have a lot of booths here, but this might be the best one, alright? So you got all sorts of merch, jerseys, t-shirts, but one of the sickest things they have exclusive ALGS merch that you can't get anywhere else, all right? So if you got some Alliance fans that are friends at home, you gotta get them some merch or they're not gonna be your friend anymore, all right? But one of the coolest things that you could do here at the booth is you could actually 1v1 Wives, who is one of the greatest players of Apex in the entire world, all right? And if you win, and that's a big if, you get to, wait, you get to walk away with some of these Razor products here. A lot on the line. I'm going to 1v1 them right now. This is going to be the old challenge. Controller versus MK. Well, let's see how it goes, bro. Yeah, let's, let's go, Pierre! Tell me, are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh! 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 <laughs> 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 I did this, bro. Oh, It was hard. Yeah. Oh! Wow! I jumped my wings and I didn't do it. Thank you, man. GG's, bro. Yeah. How do we end with this thing, bro? He's better. He's just better. Was it easy? Yes. Oh my god. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
You can select the price for me. <laughs> 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 TGs, man. And listen, that's what happens when you're a season 17 number one Pred going up against one of the best in the world. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you'll never know if you don't come check out the Alliance booth here at ALGS Championship in Birmingham, UK. I guess here we're setting up for the winner's bracket right now. We made it through the group stage. A um, little bit of a rough patch, but we figured out some stuff and it should be smooth sailing from here. So, can't wait to play. This lobby is going to be hard, as always. Uh, we have to rely on each other, we have to be good teammates, we have to like push each other every game. Let's play our normal game. Let's show up. Like Everyone thinks that we're washed now, but we're not, you know? Like, now we're going to show them who we are. This is just a building stone to the finals, and then in the finals we're gonna win the shit. So let's go. One, two, three. Alliance! It's the final round! That's two oh, now! Oh, 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 Knockdown shields, everything at the moment. Alliance eliminated. TSM survive. Is But I mean, they have a really fun time. He's one of the up and coming pros at the moment as he continues to help the Alliance. Members of Dream Fire here. Pitable forward effect will get the shield swap. Alliance now finding a bow check to work with as well. And Alliance and Hackis will they having a little bit of fun right here. Lots of damage coming in from the care package weapon. Dreamfire gone, Moist gone. And I tell you what, they might all be going down to Hackis in a few seconds. 17 gonna be good. Oh, Two, one remaining. Oh, can he hit big damage? Well, this legolas, legolas impression is about to come to its end, but what a performance from Hackis and Alliance as they now still hold this centre zone. LG Chivas fall, it's FaZe versus Alliance, it's a three versus three, straight up. And Hackis looks angry, Hackis looks like he wants to finish this one. But there's the swing from FaZe! Is the cover going to be there? Effect can now move in! But did he just go in a little bit too strong there, Hackis? Yuki's lost his shield as well, and it all falls on the shoulders of Effect! Finals homes up. Yeah. I'm just pissed for that. Yeah. Why are you pissed? Why are you pissed? Why do you play like shit? Why did we play like shit? Well, two contests, to be honest. Yeah, first two games were shit. Could have got more points there. But we didn't, that's fine. We got the points, still winnable. I just lost the game. Are we, yeah, are we like sitting there being angry and mad or are we like pushing each other to do better? Like, if we're negative, we're not going to win. If we're positive, we're going to win. Like, we need to see every zone for what it is as well. It's like, we have shit zones, okay, let's focus on kills. We're going to get in points. We got six points. Great fucking game, boys. Let's go next. Like, that's how we've been doing it in the past, at least. It's okay to be angry right now. Like, it's, I understand, like, everyone is pissed, you know? Like, all of you. But you're more pissed on yourself than the team, I think. 
Because like everyone feels like they can do better, right? So, I mean, just fucking take 10 minutes, go outside, fucking yell into the ocean or whatever the fuck it is, just reset, go next, like, we got this shit. That we will always do. We did every. We were in every spot that we always play. Yeah. Our macro and um, fucking places where we usually are didn't was perfect. We just were playing the game where we supposed to live, and we just I don't know. We lost random three v threes and we just. I don't know. Everybody knows that the winners finals is the okay. hardest thing. Like it's harder than the final. Like what you played now is the hardest thing. Like it doesn't even matter. Like Dark Zero said it, and they won back to back lands. Like, and they went out as well, so like, we can't take this too bad. We have not been practicing as a full roster. Now we get the chance to play together in scrim lobbies to actually prepare for finals. And so this could be a really good thing for us, because we haven't played together as a full roster in the week. And it shows that we're not playing together, because we, we've been used to playing with Mandy now. And now we get to play together again. So now we get to warm up, we get to find out what's wrong, work on it, and then when the final is tomorrow, we'll be there. Not even worry. Like, we can all do it alone. Like, if, if two of you were to die, one of you could do it alone. That, that's how good you are in this lobby. So, like, don't take it too hard. Like, this is the hardest lobby of the land. And it's over now. Now we go into it and we get the warm up with the finals. That's it. We started off pretty weak with a couple of zero point games, came in with a strong win and captured some points after that, but it wasn't enough, sadly. Winter bracket started off good. We were pretty close to making it to the finals, but then we had an unfortunate event where we lost our contests and had to go through losers. I was swapping controllers like every day, getting used to new settings, like new everything. Going into losers was a good warm up for me, so now we even more ready than we were before. Uh, it means a lot for me to play in the finals. I've never missed one, so I'm not about to start now. That's what we play for, really. That's all we play for. And so I'm very excited, very happy to be in the finals once again. During lower bracket, we really saw our team, the team that we know, the team that we love. And it was just great. And we made it to finals. It's been a long year with this team. We had to fucking start the season by relocating this guy out of Russia <laughs> in seven days. And then we played with the stand-in for two weeks and then we dominated, then we didn't get a visa for LAN. Then we played Pro League, then it was we got a visa, we dominated the last LAN. Then we went into some issues in the finals, which is fine. This event has been stressful as well, but I mean this is the moment that we all have been working for this entire year. We all know what we bring to the table in the team. Like Hack is the best IGL in the world, Yuki is the best support player, anchor player. Effect is the best fragger, Not Nof is going to be the best coach in history. He is the best manager, I'm the best GM, Tosha is the best video guy. Um, just remember everything that we've been talking about this event. Like this event we've gone through up and downs and we have to pay as a team today. We know our strategy, we know what we bring to the table, so just fucking do it. If something happens, something goes wrong, we go again. Don't worry about it.
push each other, be a good teammates. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Small alliance on three. One, two, three. Alliance. Let's go, boys. Into this event, we had a lot of uncertainty with visas and who we were to play with. Was it going to be Monday? Was it going to be effect? Uh, we, let, we made a decision like 10 days before the land that we were going to start swimming with Monday to get him prepared. And then while we were playing round one in the group stage, we got the effects visa. So then we had about three, four hours to get him to the tournament. I think that led to our group stage being a bit rough and a bit sloppy, maybe. Then we went into the playoffs. We started really good in the winner's bracket, I feel like, uh, but then we just couldn't pull it together. Uh, then we had a really good elimination bracket uh, where I felt we really got the momentum. And then just in the finals, uh, things didn't go away. And uh, I mean, it's hard to not be disappointed by the result, but I mean, now it's back to the drawing board and see where we can bring things in the future. It's been amazing this year because we have so many fans in the arena. You guys come by our booth, you are tweeting, you are sharing, you are screaming, you're doing everything. And the boys really love that. You can see it on their faces when they sit behind the PC on stage. They might have a bad game, might have a good game. And then they just look out and they see all the flags waving, all the screaming and everything. It's just amazing. Uh, so I want to do a big shout out to all the fans out there. Uh, also a really big shout out to our sponsors that's been with us this year, Socius and Racer. You guys are amazing and we couldn't be here without you guys, so thank you very much.